should you make your story difficult to follow? Plain language is powerful. It's not arrogant. Sesquipedalian tergiversation is the hobgoblin of little minds. How do you like that one? <sighs> Talking in big fancy words is just the wrong thing to do. And academics love it. And I was so happy to spend my academic life talking like a real person and teaching people who had a tendency, having gone to law school for crying out loud for two years before they took my course on their third year, and they wanted to talk fancy. And here I was, hey, talk like a real person. You're talking to jurors. You're not talking to law professors now. And you had to beat that into their heads because they'd already been poisoned. And if you go hear a lawyer in a new typical court, you're going to hear people that where the poison has taken in and set in for their whole lives. The really good lawyers are not pretentious in how they talk. Whether it's at home or at the office, or to a partner, or to a judge. They're not confusing. They're not difficult. They, mean they know how to make one point at a time and put them together with other points so that they fit and make sense. And people who make sense are powerful persuaders. <laughs>